Welcome back, everyone. Expect heavy rain for tonight and into the overnight out ahead of a cold front, which will cause temperatures to tumble by tomorrow. So we're going to start off with some morning rain. It's going to get windy with that cold front coming through and temperatures will fall throughout the day. Plenty of sunshine this weekend, though, but we're going to stay with the, the chilly air. In fact, it's going to be a little bit breezy out there as well. And then as we move into next week, there will be another system that will come through and that will ensure the cold air that will be uh, in our area and there is a possibility of a few flurries. We'll explain in just a little bit. High temperatures today. It definitely felt like spring out there, especially with the return of humidity. 70 degrees was the high in Meridian Laurel around 73 degrees cooler in Jackson at 67. That was also the high in Philadelphia. We are going to see those temperatures really plummet as we make our way into tomorrow. But out ahead of that cold front, the leading edge of colder air, Notice those temperatures are still hanging on to the 60s and feeling very spring like, but out to the west behind this cold front, it is definitely colder. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s and even in Arkansas has dropped down into the 40s as that cold front comes through. We are expecting some heavy rain in the next few hours. In fact, our future radar is showing from 1030. It looks like we're just going to see a few uh, showers that will be moving through, but then this organized heavier rain, a few thunderstorms will be moving through around two or three o'clock in the morning in the Twin States area and then exiting the area by six or seven o'clock. Notice the purple and blue that's showing up. That's coming behind that cold front. And so it's going to be quite cold enough for a wintry mix. I think mainly in the Delta and just west of Jackson. But we are going to see the moisture leave our area before the much colder air move in. So I don't think we're going to see any uh, wintry weather, but we are going to see some heavy rain for tonight. The cold front will continue to press off to the east tomorrow ending the rain in our area. However, north winds will bring much colder air into the region. This is coming out of the Arctic, so we're going to see quite a chill this weekend. Tonight it's going to be a little bit chilly. Temperatures dropping down to around 49 degrees in Meridian, Collinsville around 45. Some heavy rain possible for tonight and it will be breezy and the winds will continue to increase tomorrow coming from the northwest at around 15 to 20 miles per hour and it's going to be gusty. Rain will be ending in the morning, then those temperatures temperatures will start to tumble. We're expecting temperatures to start off around 51 degrees and then drop during the day. And remembering the breezy conditions, it's going to make those wind chills feel like the 20s. It's going to feel like the 20s in the afternoon. So it's going to be a lot colder in the afternoon than in the morning hours. This weekend, we'll start off the mornings with 20s and then in the afternoon, look for highs only in the 40s. I think we'll see plenty of sunshine for Martin Luther King Day. Uh, temperatures a little bit warmer as well with a high around 54 and then another system comes through and that will drop those temperatures into the 30s Tuesday and Wednesday. And there is that possibility maybe of a few flurries early on Tuesday is a system that we'll be watching. I don't think we have a lot of moisture to play with, so I think it'll just be a few flurries and not significant snow. But yeah, it's going to be in the teens. Starts on next below week and freezing. I, I know. That's... Back into the deep freeze. Man. What is going on? And uh, the sun out doesn't really help if it's just, not warming up. Arctic air coming Winter. down. Winter. Yeah. Not my favorite season. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks, Kim.